Hello, and welcome to the SNAIL and Elodia lab demonstration. This lab demonstrates the processes of photosynthesis, cellular respiration, and the carbon cycle. To run this lab, you're going to need an aquatic plant, such as those found for aquariums. You also can need an aquatic organism, such as snails, shrimp, fish, or water insects. You also can need a sealable container, such as a test tube, beaker, mason jar, or even a plastic cup. For this lab, I'll be using Elodia, snails, and test tubes. You're going to start off by grabbing eight test tubes and filling them with a solution of bromyl thymol blue. This solution is also called BTB and is an indicator of carbon dioxide. When it is blue, it indicates no or low CO2 levels. When it changes color to green or yellow, it indicates high levels of CO2. Using the first four test tubes, you're going to put two snails in the second test tube. You're going to put two elodia plants in the third test tube. And you're going to put two snails and two elodia plants in the fourth test tube. That first test tube is going to be in a control group for us to make sure that nothing goes wrong with our setup or an experiment. And it also serves as a measure of what the original color was in case there is any color changes. You're going to top off your test tubes and you're going to seal them shut with your stoppers. You're going to create an identical setup with the second four test tubes. You're going to put two snails in the second test tube, two elodia plants in the third test tube, and you're going to put two snails and two elodia plants in the fourth test tube. And again, that first test is going to serve just as a control group to see if anything has changed by the end of our experiment. You're going to fill up the rest of the test tubes with BTB solution, and then you're also going to seal them shut so that no air can get into the test tubes. After all eight test tubes are sealed shut, you're going to put half the test tubes under the light and half the test tubes in the dark. This one shows that some of the plants are undergoing photosynthesis and some of the plants are unable to. In this case, our first four test tubes will be placed under a light and our second four test tubes will be placed in a box in the dark. After 24 hours, you're going to come back and you should be able to notice some results. You can see here that some of the test tubes have changed colors to yellow, which indicates that CO2 levels have increased in those test tubes. You can pause at any time, but you should be able to answer these analysis questions after performing this lab. If you can answer these questions, you are well on your way to understand the processes of photosynthesis, cellular respiration, and the carbon cycle. Thank you.